What's up, my stranded friends? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Bermuda Lost Survival. In this game, we are lost in the Bermuda Triangle, and um, we're trying to survive. You know, we survive. We're on the ocean, and we're trying to survive. Okay, so um, what is this game all about? Well, it, if you guys watch me play Raft, this game is a lot like Raft, except there's no free-floating items coming to you, right? It also reminds me a lot of Stranded Deep, okay? You got to go underwater to get your materials. Uh, you have to eat, drink, uh, you have to sleep, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, this game's really fun. I played it for about an hour, and um, I'm really having a good time with it. And what I really like about this game is they have their, their, uh, their roadmap down here. I think this is genius, and I think other developers need to take a page out of this book, right? We got this build right here. Welcome to Bermuda Lost Survival. The journey begins now. Then we got the next update, adding enhanced tools, increased, increasing playable area, improving game balance. Right here we have in, uh, introducing consumable items, um, adding new resource types, adding new crafting recipes, adding new stations. And then over here, uh, adding tiger shark. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like tiger sharks. Uh, poisonous jellyfish. That doesn't sound good. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. That sounds awesome. Uh, updating wildlife behavior. It is developed and published by Nightbox. Um, it is on sale right now. Uh, the normal price is $15. Right now it's on sale at 15% for $12.74. Uh, there will be a link in the description if you would like to purchase it. Let's get started. We're going to start right here in a new game. And um, honestly, I played this last night for like an hour, but I don't remember. Oh, that's right. They just start you off with nothing. Uh, like no explanation or anything. That's what you guys are watching me for. I figured a lot of this out. Uh, so right now we have a raft. We're just out here in the middle of nowhere. We've got a couple of health kits. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get used to uh, E, F button. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to have to get used to anything. Um, <laughs> I'll show you this right now. Interact is F. No, interact is E, my friends. Press a new key or escape to cancel. There you go. Uh, developers, interact key is E. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, man, that F key drives me nuts. Um, I mean, F isn't a bad key. It's in a good spot. It's just, you know, um, E was the was first in the games I played at least. So E is what I'm used to. I guess it's kind of pointless. But anyway, all right, so right here we got a bunch of food uh, stocked up, uh, supplies. These things will give you water and hunger. Um, if you look on the right-hand side, uh, we have our oxygen container, our water consumption, food consumption. I don't know what the brain exactly is. I think the brain is uh, how much when you need sleep. And then we also have hit points. So if you press tab, you open up your inventory here. I haven't figured out quick access yet, so I usually come in here. Uh, well, let's put something in the quick access slot and see. Yeah, I don't... I don't. Oh, okay. So that's just press number one for that if we want to heal. I'm going to actually take that out of the quick access slot because I don't want to use it by mistake. All right, so this is our guy. We can make tools. We can upgrade our tools. Uh, if you look in the bottom part, it tells you what you need to upgrade the tools. The knife, uh, improved knife, you need metal, sticks, and rope. There's also axes. Um, I'd have to get stone and st uh, sticks and stones, not to break my bones, but to make an axe. Uh, right here we have a spear. We're going to need stone, sticks, and rope. Uh, bottle, that's very important. We're going to scrap metal, sticks, and rope. Coming soon, coming soon. Hammer, okay, I'm not really sure what the hammer does. Oh, no, I know what the hammer does. It's what lets you place down your building materials. I don't know what an improved hammer is going to do. Some. I don't know what an improved hammer is going to do for you. It's suitable for enhanced construction. Maybe... Once, you, once you're putting down more um, advanced construction items, you need the better hammer. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. The first thing we're going to want is... I Yeah, the first thing we're going to want is the axe. All right? We're going to need some sticks and stones. Okay. So, just remember that. Right here, you can sleep. Um, you can actually choose uh, when you want to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and use this opportunity to save my game. There we go. And, uh, yeah, there you go with that. And then right here is a... This is a crafting like bench basically and this allows you to craft all your items you can craft platforms walls windows all that kind of walkways um low walls all this stuff um you could do another crafting box you could do a workbench which allows you to make um even more uh advanced items first thing we're going to want to make is a drying rack uh, but before any of that we're definitely going to want to make an axe so i think that's everything up here let's go for a swim shall we all right, this is a, I don't think this is a pre-generated, no, this is, looks exactly like the other world. I don't think these worlds are pre-generated, um, or uh, what's what I'm looking for? Randomly generated. They're, um, they're pre-made, I think. This looks exactly like when I played last time. Uh, right here we got chests, we can't get the chests just yet. 
but we can grab some stuff on the ground. You know what, guys? I am not even joking. I'm hitting F. I, this game got me used to hitting F. No, no, it's E, darn it. It's E, I tells you. All right, so we're going to need some stones and some sticks. I think, what, five sticks? All right, so we're going to come over. There are sharks up there. I have not been attacked by a shark yet. Uh, this game is in very, very early access. Now, one of the things people have been wondering about this game more than anything is multiplayer. Okay, the developers have put out an official statement on multiplayer. I'm going to wait for a grinding spot uh, to talk to you about multiplayer. All right, so there we go. We got some uh, four stones. One more stone. And I think we're going to make an axe. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I've still got plenty of oxygen. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the... Wait, uh, I need more sticks. Yeah, I need more sticks. Okay, scratch that. We're not going to make the axe just yet. We're going to need some more sticks. All right. You can also harvest these... Uh, the seaweed, the seaweed is going to be put on a drying rack. When I first played this game, I saw the drying rack and I was like, oh, a drying rack. Okay, that's for that's for food. Every game I've ever played, it's for food. Yeah, not in this game. In this game, the drying rack is for um, to dry out the seaweed uh, so you can make rope. And by the way, if you want to if you want to get to the surface fast, uh, hold down the space bar because otherwise it's going to take you forever to get up here. All right, so let's uh, let's come down here. As you can see right here, there's a uh, there's some shipwrecks. I don't know if stuff respawns um, down here, uh, but you need to make a raft to get to the next area, right? And I think if you waste your materials, you might get stuck here. I'm not really sure. Um, I have a feeling that stuff respawns, but I don't know that for sure. I can't. I can't say that for sure. Now, there's two things we can get from this ship right here. We can get uh, planks or we can get uh, sticks. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and get some sticks from it. If you use the axe, you get actually no, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the sticks off the ground. That's four, and that's five. Okay, so here we are. The axe unlocks. It doesn't come into your inventory like an actual item. It just unlocks. So now um, I have an axe, and you could mouse scroll wheel to get around. So right here, if I hit this with the with this thing, I'll get sticks, and it looks like you get two sticks per. And if I hit it with the axe. I will get wood or planks. All right, so let's uh, let's do some harvesting. All right, guys, I'm gonna do some harvesting, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about multiplayer because, like I said, um, whenever one of these games come out, it's all about multiplayer. People want multiplayer. I'm I could play single player and be happy, but I do like multiplayer as well. Let me tell you what the dev said. I found this on the official Steam forums, and the develop. I think this is even a sticky post. All right, so the dev said. We're aware that this is uh, one of the... They're talking about multiplayer. We're aware this is one of the community's uh, most desired features for Bermuda, Bermuda Lost Survival. Technically and design-wise, it is possible to add cooperative gameplay to the game. Thank God, no PvP. Um, and, and mechanics... Uh, sorry. Uh, to the game. However, the development focus for the next month lies on improving an existing gameplay and mechanics, adding content, and expanding the playable area. It sounds a lot like what Cold Games was saying about... Um, about uh, uh, subsistence when he was talking about multiplayer. He's like, I want to put multiplayer in, but I want to get the other stuff in first, right? So, um, yeah, so that's what they're saying. They also said, once development uh, progresses, we'll consider adding multiplayer feature and evaluate different concepts for it. Until then, we won't make promises. So it sounds like they want multiplayer. It sounds like they're planning on multiplayer. And it sounds like they don't want to say it's going to be multiplayer because if something happens and they can't get it in there, they don't want people to be pissed off. Uh, makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff down here. Let's, uh, we're going to grab some more seaweed. Um, I'm not sure what I want to make next. All right, there's a couple things we're looking at. Um, actually, I do, I do know what I want to make next. I'm going to make the drying rack. We got to start getting, we got to start getting rope. Uh, there's going to be two things we're going to want to do in this game. We're going to want to, we're going to want to work our way towards a raft. And we are going to want to work our way towards, um, getting some kind of food supply. Uh, so, you know we're kind of safe um you could build up like a nice base up top and, and that's cool um but until i get a food supply and water supply i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about uh such frivolous things and i shouldn't have stayed down for this long that was a mistake you can if you listen closely you can hear the harpy i don't know if the game's too low but i can kind of hear it um so that is awesome we got up here in time all right let's get back to the raft and let's go ahead and make our actually you know what even before we make the drying rack we're gonna have to make a platform um you know, just like Raft, the game Raft, which, just on a side note, guys, I want to get back to Raft at some point. That game is freaking awesome. Anyway, 
Uh, now, this game's kind of like Raft, except sexier. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, this game looks a lot better than Raft. But um, it seems like Raft might be a lot farther on. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's uh, let's come on in here. And what you have to do is you have to put everything in your box. You can double-click. No problem. I don't. I shouldn't have put that in there, actually. All right, and then right here, you can see we can make the drying rack. So let's go make the drying rack. And we're also going to make a platform. I should have made the platform first. Because if you don't have the platform to put the drying rack on, the drying rack is pointless. I don't know if you could put it on the actual raft you start on, but yeah, well. Anyway, so once you have that in your inventory, I'm going to point towards the next area I want to go to, which I believe is this way. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good spot. Okay, so now we're going to go to the hammer, and you can see right here, we'll scroll down, uh, shift scroll, go to the platform. Oh, did not mean to fall out, obviously. Uh, should we put this farther? Nah. I kind of want it to be closer. Nah, whatever. We'll put it over here. Who cares? All right. So you put this down, and then you can rotate it like so. Looks pretty good to me. And then we can climb up on it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is scroll wheel, scroll mouse wheel again. We're going to put this drying rack on here. Um, I don't know how I want to do this. Uh, yeah, let's just do it like this. All right. There we go. Rotate it like so. All right. All right, so let's uh, now what you're gonna do is you gotta put all your uh, seaweed in there and just run it, and it'll just automatically make uh, rope for you. All right, I'm gonna show you where to get metal, and then I'm gonna do some grinding, uh, some farming off camera. There should be a there's a couple different places you can get metal. I see those barrels right there. You can get metal from those, but there's also a plane wreck around here somewhere that I would like to find, and um, I'll show you that. So you see that right there? That's like a little plane wreck, like a freaking I don't know. World War II plane, I guess? Uh, it doesn't look like a modern plane. Um, oh, yeah, that's a World War II plane. It's got the propeller in the front. Um, there we go. Cool. All right, so this is the first place I would come for iron, uh, or for metal, I should say. It tells you what you're going to get, and you just sit here and get some scrap metal. You just harvest this until it breaks. Harvest it until it's gone. Actually, I think the next thing I'm going to make is the water still. Um, here's the thing. The the stuff I have in my inventory, the, uh, the, the food... Food supplies, they give you 30 hunger and 30 thirst. The problem is I don't need that 30 hunger. Um, all I need, you're gonna need, this is one of the, this is one of the very few survival games that gets it right. You're gonna be thirsty before you're hungry. Every freaking survival game I play, as awesome as they are and as much as I love them, we always get hungry before we get thirsty and that makes zero sense. I have to eat like five times before I have to drink in most survival games and that is so messed up. Um, but this game's got it right. This game makes you thirsty well before you're hungry. Well before you're hungry. Okay, so that was, um, 25 scrap iron. That is phenomenal. We're gonna get up here. I don't, I don't know exactly what I need for the water still, but we're gonna check it out. Actually, before we make the water still, we're gonna need a bottle. So can we make the bottle? Uh, sticks, rope, I think I have all that. Actually, no, I don't think I have the sticks. Even if I do, I kind of want to get some more sticks. All right, guys, I just went down to that boat wreck down there, and I broke out that part of it. It had planks on it like that, but eventually when you break enough of it out, the planks go away, and I don't think you can get anything else from it. Um, now, I don't know if the planks... This is one thing I don't know. I don't know if the planks are separate from the sticks. Like, maybe the, maybe the boat has a certain amount of wood in it, and when you take sticks, it takes from the same pool of wood as the planks. So you might want to be a little careful. Don't, don't over-harvest. Uh, that way, you know, you don't get stuff you... Maybe if you need more planks, then you need sticks, and you get too many sticks. And then the uh, the pool of wood in that boat is gone. You might be short on planks. I don't know if that's the way it works, but um, that's what I'm afraid of. Okay, so we got that. So let's go ahead and unlock the bottle. Now, once you get the bottle, it is in your inventory. And um, uh, you know what we need? I, actually, we're... No, I think you make it in here, don't you? All right, we're going to get in there. Somehow we got in from underneath. All right, let's see if we can make the distillery. No, that's the workbench. Okay, so you can't make the distiller in here. Okay, so we got to make the workbench. So what we need is planks, sticks, and probably some rope. Uh, scrap iron. There we go. Um, nope, double click. There we go. And we're going to craft the workbench. I would make an extra platform to put this stuff on, but the thing is, like I said, if the stuff below me does not respawn, I could theoretically use my items on stuff I don't need and then find myself short on items. Um, I don't really know. This game's... I played it for an hour, but there's a lot about this game I do not know. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. So we got to go to the hammer. And I don't know. Um, it's pretty good, I guess. Rotate it. 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we got a new thing we can make new stuff out of. We can make stairs. We can make a barbecue... A barbecue bucket? <laughs> don't you need barbecue sauce to have a barbecue bucket? I don't think I'm going to have barbecue sauce out here, but anyway. Um, we got a water distillery. That's what I want. We can make a chest, wooden doors, wooden windows, standing torches, and a dock. The dock is going to allow us to make the raft. We'll get into that. Not this video, though. All right. So we're going to need scrap metal planks and sticks. So now we got to take them out of here. Uh, there we go. Take him out of here. Uh, I wish I could pick this up. I'd like to be able to pick this up. I don't think you can. I think you have to craft a new one if you want to move it. Although I don't know for sure. If I'm wrong about any of this stuff, guys, please let me know in the comments. That would be uh, that would be wonderful. All right. So we got some rope here. That can't run with only four. I guess you need five uh, for one thing of rope. It's getting dark, as you can tell. Uh, so what do we got here? Okay. So put everything in here. And we cannot make the distillery. What are we missing? We're missing two scrap iron. Uh, two scrap iron. All right, let's get some scrap iron. Make the distillery. And I think we're going to call it a video at that point. Um, this game is a little bit light on the content as far as I can tell. I don't know how much content is in the game. But I think it's light on the content. So I think we're going to go with 20 minute videos. Maybe 22 minute videos. Not really sure. But I, I, these are probably not going to be my normal 25 to 30 minute videos. Um, just because, you know, I don't know how much content's in it. And um, I don't want to do the whole series in, like, two videos, man. That would suck. And, uh, again, guys, I know you guys watch people play this, you know, probably a lot if you like the game. And um, if you have any tips or anything, uh, by all means, let me know. I really enjoy the game. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with is that they don't tell you anything. But, you know, that's okay. I'm okay with that, actually. It could make for a good Let's Play. Because <clears throat> anyone that gets the game is probably going to be looking for things for people on YouTube to tell them how to do stuff. And that's, you know, that gets me some views. So that's pretty cool. So we'll we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, before I do anything else, I am going to show you how to fill up the water. Uh, come on over here. All right. So what you want to do when you want to fill up the water is you just... You could do this from your dock without jumping in. But I like to just sit in here and just hold down the mouse button. Don't click it. Actually, that doesn't work here. You have to actually go underwater, don't you? Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do is you go, go underwater and hold down the mouse button. Don't click it. All right. Because if you press the mouse button for every every piece of water, every every you know every bottle of water you get, uh, what it's gonna do is he's gonna uncork it. Wait a minute, cork it. Uncork it. Wait a minute, cork it. Uncork, and it takes forever. This is so much easier. Just go underwater and hold down the button. And we are. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to wait for these to be uh, boiled up. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually eat some food. Um, I don't know how much food I'm actually missing. But I think the 30, the 30 food I get from these will probably be okay. So let's use that. Yep, see, we're not full on food, so that worked out. All right, so before we go, let me go ahead and... Uh, da, 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 there we go, water distiller. Okay. Actually, I can make the barbecue bucket right now. That would be good for food. I don't need it, though. I think next video we're going to make a beeline for the docks. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and put that down. Okay, works for me. All right, so with this thing, uh, these are the water containers, the salt water I got uh, from that, you know, when I was in the water, you put them in there. You're going to need something to burn. Uh, I'll burn some sticks, I guess. Burn some sticks, run it, and there we go. We'll get 10 things of water out of that. Actually, that might be a little too much. Split that and do this. Uh, is that still going to get 10? I'm not really sure. Whatever. Uh, five sticks will be good. It'll be it'll be enough water. And if worse comes to worse, we can always boil some more. So I'm going to show you one thing before we go because I want a screenshot uh, for the video. And also I want to show you how you can pass the night. By the way, this game is really pretty, pretty good looking. Pretty. I'm going to use the word gorgeous. Um, it looks really good. So, all right, let's go ahead and sleep here. This is how the sleep mechanic works. Uh, you just kind of do like this. And usually about right there is what you want. Uh, rest for 10 hours. I'll save the game after the screenshot. I can save the game now. It doesn't matter. Um, wait, why did I get up? Oh, can you only sleep a certain amount of time, you think? I cannot rest now. I am thirsty. Oh, so if you're thirsty, it wakes you up. That is cool. Oh, by the way, when, whenever you're uh, sleeping, stuff does get made here. So all that water is done. So I only got two things of water for six sticks. That's not a lot. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna cook the rest of the sticks. So we're gonna use two things of water. All right, our thirst is looking good. Yeah, so that's nice. So if you're doing something that takes a long time, just go to sleep. But just remember, your hunger and thirst is gonna go through as you're as you're sleeping. So there ain't no freebies. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna go ahead and save, and we can actually I'll save when I wake up. So there we go, and come on, come on, come on, save. Eh, let's go a little. Let's go a little bit longer. I want a, I want a good amount of light for the screenshot. Normally I wouldn't sleep that much, but it's all good. There you go, guys. And it's now daytime, and we should have that extra water in here. Let me take a look. Uh, there we go. One more thing of water. Use. So I think you should use six sticks. Don't use five. I think I wasted a stick by using five. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And there we go. Food and drinks looking pretty good. Uh, this has been a good start to the Let's Play, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. Likes uh, will go a long way towards me making more of these videos. I'm really loving this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Comment. Give me the tips. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.